Honestly, I know I've discussed it before, but this summer has been absolutely brutal um, for so many reasons. One, COVID. Two, it's hotter than Hades. Three, we can't do shit. Like, it's so many like levels of misery. And because of COVID, I've been working outside, which makes me super aware of the weather and real bitchy about it. So, um, that's led to a couple other events, uh, like making trips to Macadoodles and just purchasing lots of things because I'm hot. Um, anyway, so then my little beer fridge on the back porch was not, did not suffice. It wasn't, su it wasn't sufficient. Um, and I told Doug that. It was real nice about it. I was like, oh boy. I don't have enough room for my alcohol. Uh, I mean, I don't know why he agreed to let me get another fridge, but he did. And it's 10 cubic, 10.1 cubic foot. It's so nice. And it has room for all my beers. So I told Doug that I needed a new beer fridge because mine was too small. And he agreed. Well, I don't know if he agreed, but he let me get one. So we've got a freezer. Ooh, cold pack for the swamp cooler. That's coming up next. And then, oh my God, I can't get it open. All oh, this room in here for all the, all the beers, even the water and the juice pouches. Look at that, I have so many varieties right now. Bush light, bush apple. Margaritas, some ginger ale, Vizzies, Cayman Jack, Twisted Tea, Mike's Hard in the back, some blue drink down there, so much stuff. How nice is that? Such a dream. You should have seen a little bitty one I had before, which was nice. Don't get me wrong. I am not complaining about having cold beer. It just didn't have enough room for all of my things. So now I've got one that's covered for all my things. So that's really great. And then working outside, me and Doug were discussing uh, the air conditioning situation at my outside job at the testing site. And he was like, well, I know that, I know they have swamp coolers at the, uh, the I know athletics have swamp coolers. And I was like, I don't know. We're not athletics, like nobody gives a shit about us. And um, turns out somebody has swamp coolers because they brought them after a really shitty day and they were amazing and Doug was like oh yeah you can get swamp coolers or you know it's telling me about them and I'll be goddamn and they don't they have those things at the Home Depot and Doug just went right online and found me he's like look you can find this one for XYZ and I was like he goes I can use it for my shop and I'm thinking um you have an air conditioner in your shop but the, it's it's really fucking hot up there. And he goes, yeah, this is what he does. He gets me every fucking time. But you could use it on the deck. And then this is the swamp cooler. Don't mind all my mess. You put water in the bottom of it, and then it runs through, keeps you cool. Got ice packs in the top for the water to go through. Amazing. So these are just two of the small things that we have done to make my life better. Because as you see, I sit here, oh, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know what a big deal this is. Shout out to Brooksy. She found these. She got me a 12 pack. They're tall skinnies, like the seltzers. I have a koozie, luckily. But my drink's cold. My flag is whipping in the wind from my swamp cooler. I am tolerable. That's it. 
collarbone. However, we have a situation. Um, it's the refrigerator box. Doug said after we had the refrigerator that one of the stipulations was I had to get rid of it, the cardboard today. Well, in Hartsburg, we have a recycle bin, but the holes are really little and it's just, it's easier for me to take it to my work. By the recycle bins by my work. Doug said, that's fine. Put it in your van. So now I'm getting ready to take this box, this big fucking refrigerator box, to my van. God only knows how long it's going to stay in there. Because I also have my license plates in there. They should be on the outside of my van attached. I mean, I have ones on there. They're dangerously close to being expired. I have the new ones in my van, which I told everybody I was going to put there. I just haven't put them on my van. So, what's going to get done first? The plates or the refrigerator box? Does anybody have a child that wants a refrigerator box? I can deliver. It's got a little styrofoam inside, but you can get rid of that. I'll get rid of that actually if I bring it to you. So anyways, happy summer y'all.